across the properties for a real estate investment trust and developer. And uh, we're very excited to uh, be asked by David uh, Scott to share the second session. Um, as you've seen, there are a lot of uh, exciting and interesting uh, developments in architecture that are leading to uh, more complex technical issues that I think that the, the questions in the first session uh, briefly started to touch on. And uh, what we'd like to do today is to go through uh, some of the issues related to facade, facade construction, um, glass technology, and how do you clean these uh, wonderful curving structures. Um, as uh, architecture has, has gone away from the rectilinear um, icons uh, as represented in this building, we're going to more uh, fantastical structures that are, that are made possible by computers. Uh, there are a lot of challenges that we as developers look at, and I will challenge um, Charlie Reed's uh, notion that the 5% uh, uh, increase in cost uh, should be taken to the bank. Uh, we are seeing items, uh, uh, specific items of, of construction that are, are vastly different from that. So in that, how do we as developers uh, justify these costs and how do we control them? And uh, our speakers today, and, um, Mark Fobeck, Carol Bowlers, and Lee Herzog will start to will, uh, take us through some of the issues related to uh, these issues. Uh, and with that, I'll uh, introduce Mark Zobeck from Purpose of Leasing. Thank you. 